Netlify is a web platform that allows us to quickly build and deploy web apps globally. While this includes delivering our static assets from a CDN, there's a lot more that we can do with our media, including our images, to make sure that we're delivering as performant of an experience as we can. To do this, we can use the Cloudinary Netlify plugin that allows us to provide blanket optimization for all of our images on our Netlify site. In order to install the Cloudinary Netlify plugin, we can start off from within our Netlify site, where if we head over to the Plugins tab, then navigate to the Plugins directory where we can search for Cloudinary, and once our result turns up, we can go ahead and click Install, where we then want to select the site which we want to install the plugin to, which in my case is Incomparable Longma, where I also want to confirm that I do want to install it on that site. Next, we want to make sure that we configure our Cloudinary account for our Netlify site. So we can head over to Site Settings, then in the sidebar, scroll down until we find Build and Deploy, and then also select Environment, where at the top, we'll be able to see Environment Variables, where we're going to click Edit Variables, and for our variable name, we're going to add Cloudinary Cloud name. And then from the value, we want to actually get our cloud name. Now to get our cloud name inside of our Cloudinary dashboard, we can see right at the top under account details where we see the cloud name field, which we can either copy the text or we can click the little copy button to copy it to our clipboard. Then we can paste that cloud name right into the value field, where if I click this little eye, I can see exactly the field that I pasted in. And then I'm going to click save. At this point, we have one more step, and that's to trigger a new build and deploy for our Netlify site. So if I scroll back up to the top of the page, head over to Site Overview, and then select Production Deploys or navigate to the Deploys tab, I can head over to the right side of the page where I'll see my Trigger Deploy button where I can select Deploy Site. But once that new deploy is published, we can open up our new website, where now we can see all of our images are being delivered from Cloudinary, and we can also see that we're getting automatic optimization including delivering modern formats like AVIF, as well as a great reduction in size. We can compare that to our original deployment where we can see that they're being delivered as JPEGs with a greater size. But by using the Cloudinary Netlify plugin, we can see that when we deliver our images from Netlify, we're also using automatic optimization, including F-Auto, which means it's automatically going to determine the most modern format and efficient format to use, as well as Q-Auto, which is going to automatically compress the image for us where by using those methods combined, we're going to be delivering smaller assets, making the page load faster and ultimately a better experience. Now, if you prefer to use a file-based configuration for your Netlify project, you can enable this plugin by specifying the package Netlify Plugin Cloudinary, where you can then configure all your inputs for this plugin, including your cloud name. By using file-based configuration, you're also giving yourself the ability to use advanced features, such as specifying the delivery type so that you can use signed or unsigned uploads, as well as specifying an upload preset, which will give you more advanced Cloudinary features for every time you upload a media asset to your media library. So in review, in order to get automatic optimization of all of our image assets on our Netlify site, we were able to head over to the plugin section and install the Cloudinary plugin, where once we configured our Cloudinary cloud name environment variable with our Cloudinary cloud name, we're able to start delivering all of our image assets with automatic optimization, including delivering those images in as modern format as the browser supports.